for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip out the Mad Cheese as always. Got another defense video for you guys today. Today I'm be going over a blitz and a base defense, a really good pass defense that I've been using online and having a lot of success with. This is something that you can use out of multiple different coverages. It's just a concept that you can use. You can pretty much use this probably in any uh, nickel package defense that you want. I'm going to use it out of a very specific package. I'm going to be using it out of the Big Nickel Over G, uh, which is another series of plays out of my Dolphins uh, ebook slash Giants ebook. This is the exact same defense, essentially. Uh, if you guys want to see more defensive plays, as always, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. But the play today that I'm going to be going over there's really two it's two different plays but like i said it's the exact same concept you can use this uh whether you like to run cover two which i think to me cover two is probably the better defense right now or cover three which it also has the exact same thing with the ss blitz three so let's just go ahead and let's put these on our audibles like we always do i pretty much always leave cover two man but i always replace right here i got a cover three i'm gonna replace these two cover threes with much better versions uh cover three versions that will get a little bit of pressure so the ss blitz three and then we're gonna move down we're gonna find the ss blitz two as well and we can pretty much just go back and forth with these plays the entire game i might show a third play here although this ss blitz 2 is all the way to the bottom i might show a third play if i had a third play it would definitely be the cover four quarters this is the best run defense in the formation so we might go over that as well but this will be my four play setup this is probably my best pass defense probably my best run defense and then these are my best base defenses because they also get pressure and they do a pretty good job stopping the run as well on the offensive side uh we could go with any number of things but i'm going to go against the bunch because ultimately this is going to be one of the best defense against people that like to run a lot of bunch coverages and bunch coverages is pretty much meta so whether they're running gun bunch gun bunch te whatever any bunch formation or any type formation rather which is pretty much the best formations this is going to be best against now as always this video is brought to my coin sponsors at aoeah.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up i know the new promo just dropped the new uh halloween promo just came out most feared if you want to get your mutt team up and you want to support the channel at the same time check them out link in the description below and use discount code money to get three percent off what's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market so like i said i'm not rocking the cover two here because I personally think cover two is one of the better defenses right now uh, and I'm not the only person I've heard say that so cover two is one of the best ones I find that the cover three version might be slightly better as far as coverage because this does have the seam flats if you guys don't know curl flats don't cover as good as seam flats so both of these plays are very are really good but it's the same setup it doesn't even matter which defense you use now me personally I'm not a huge fan of the soft squats if I were to make a coverage adjustment I would go over the top with the cloud flats personally I think the cloud flats are really good but that's neither here nor there so the setup for the blitz because that's probably the most important part number one you always want to make sure this blitzer number one you got to put your fastest guy in there i didn't do that uh but rose fine he's a decent uh blitzing option he's a fast safety he's got to be like a 90 speed guy if you have like a super fast guy like a 97 speed cornerback of some kind or something like that that's probably the best person to put in here but i'm just going to run it as is because this guy's also going to be very important when it comes to run defense and safeties are going to be very good when it comes to that so got my blitzing safety i don't want him to be so close if he's in too close he'll get picked up by the right tackle sometimes i want to move him out a little bit like i said this is a perfect type of coverage to hide that blitzer in because he looks like he's just right here in his, his zone you're not going to typically expect the blitz coming off uh like you might in some other formations where the receivers are out wide he's right in the bunch it looks like he's in there about to do his job looks like he's about to drop into coverage so that's pretty much the the most important thing maybe move him out just a little bit although where he's out is typically fine uh the, the setup could be easier all i'm going to do is pinch my defensive line which is d-pad left and down basically that brings them all in and then after that i have a couple options i can either slant them left which i find i have a lot of success with or slant them outside they both have success then i want to take the guy here that's basically going to be away from the action because that vert hook his job is going to be jumping these lanes pretty quickly so i want to take the guy that's over the running back because the running back will be my responsibility if he goes out into a flat typically um, it's also gonna be my responsibility to cover middle but that's pretty much the progression i'm pretty much going to um you know come down on this gap the second the play starts i'm gonna to try to just just stay here for you know half a second and then drop back into coverage if the running back goes out on a route i gotta drop back it towards his area basically cover towards that area that's pretty much it and then the last thing would be the guess the guess pass that's the most important thing because when it comes to blitzes guessing pass will always get you more pressure so ultimately this is the setup here like i said i'm just going to come down this gap just going to guess pass hover here for a second wait for that cornerback uh, or that guard to react to me and then the cornerback will shoot in free there didn't quite get the reaction that i wanted but you can see we eventually get a coverage sack because we do have good coverage so i didn't quite get the blitz that i wanted 
Uh, we'll try to set that up again. I also like the baseline press and then baseline one more time. That's something that, like I said, not the most important step, but I like to do that. So we'll go and do that one more time. We're gonna run that, we're gonna run that back. Like I said, maybe I had this this, uh, this blitzing safety in a little bit too close. One of the things about this blitzing safety too that I really like, like I said, if it's a run play, it's gonna be an inside zone, which means the running back's gonna be coming right at that blitzing safety. So a lot of times that will stop a lot of run plays. So that's another reason you wanna always make sure you run this the way that I'm running it now. So like I said, right here, we got that random play, and oh, he, got, he throws it up into coverage, but I did see the cornerback came in free there. Real quick, we did get that blitzing uh, cornerback in free like I wanted, and you can see he basically just had to, to jump. I mean, that ball just gets out quick, even though I don't understand why, because he was definitely covered. So Mac Jones just threw it up into a crowd. Uh, but you can see, this is the desired effect here. We have this guard, basically blocking nobody. One of these guards, that's the, that's the plan every play, is to get one of these linemen blocking nobody. It looks like on the other side though, we got pressure off of that side too. So that's something you gotta keep in mind. We're basically going to be getting pressure in a lot of different areas. This came because I basically looped around uh, and you know the, the right tackle basically just switched off. We got two guys coming in free. To me, the best setup without a doubt is going to be um, pinching the defensive line and slanting to the left not necessarily slanting uh, out. I, I find this is the best setup here. Cause I'm, and I also find that you can also motion this, this guy over here just to try to pull all the linemen to this side as much as possible. This is probably the ideal setup. So we'll go and we'll do this a couple times. Uh, this is something where you know we should get pressure right off the edge. You can see right here the running back was blocking. He just got he just completely missed and uh, you know stones the quarterback, which is another reason why I was saying you always want to run this blitzer off of this side, off the opposite side of the running back. It, it, it works to stop the run and it works with the blitz because this guy here is on a straight pass block, but he cannot get around quick enough to stop this blitzing quarterback. That's why you always want to make sure that you're blitzing opposite the running back. It works in every situation. So you can see right here, this guy just comes right off the edge screaming. We got a five on six. Uh, as we only have five blitzers because I'm not a blitzer. I back out pretty quickly. But you can see we have a five with six blockers and the five wins. A really easy blitz is set up too. I mean, it's only really two steps. Um, although there is a third step. If this cornerback isn't down on the box, into the box enough, you got to move him down. You got to mainly move him down. So all you really have to do, pinch your defensive line, slant them away from the blitzing cornerback, and then bring your user down here. Now I'm also going to do um, this hard flat uh, because I think that the computer's going to be thrown underneath quite a bit. Uh, but this is, you know, this is pretty much it. So right here, you've got to take away those short throws. You can see he comes in again. That looked like the exact same play. Running back was blocking again. Did not matter. Let's go and let's watch the replay. Um, you can see, number one, I mean, you know, I got to recognize the running backs not on a pattern faster. That's that's one of the most important things because I got to get back to my zone to cover middle. And I got back there good enough that I probably could have lurked. But that's going to all come out in the gameplay. Basically, when you're playing, if your opponent's throwing to the running back a lot, you're going to have to watch the running back. If they're not throwing to the running back a lot, you're basically just going to have to drop back into coverage a little bit quicker than I am. Uh, but like I said, I'm playing the computer. I have no idea what they want to do. But that's something that's going to be easier to, to predict when you're actually playing a live opponent. But ultimately, same result, five or six man blocking. Uh, we'll go back to our blitzer here. You can see he just comes in off the edge free. Running back doesn't even have a shot. You know what I mean? Bottom line, if you have a fast enough guy running this, running back will not get in the way of any of these blitzes. So we'll go ahead and we'll switch it up to the SS Blitz 3 because there are a few variational adjustments that you can make here. Number one, I prefer to keep the three rec. I think the three rec is good. Um, like I said, the seam flats are better. The seam flats are better than the curl flats. That's one of the things I like about this particular defense. At least it doesn't have curl flats. You can go and you can have curl flats if you uh, play over the top but that's not what I want to do. I want the seam flats. The seam flats follow much better. I did a video about this a long time ago. Seam flats are the way to go. Now, when it comes to a, uh, a defense, an offense like this, you got to move your safety over because you'll get cover three one play touchdown bombs all over you in a bunch if you don't move the safety over. So that will add to what you have to do. But other than that, the only real setup difference is you really have your choice what you want to do, if, whether you want to take away one of the seam flats to use her, or if you want to uh, use her the three rack hook. Now, against a bunch like this, it's going to be best to to basically, in my opinion, I mostly do this with the seam flat. But you can go with the three rack. The three rack's best because in this bunch scenario, he's going to follow any drags or any crossers better. Um, so I'm going to leave him there, and I'm typically going to use her the seam flat. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the only difference. Like I said, I'm having more success coming outside here and slanting away. So I'm going to continue to do that, uh, and then we're just going to basically just run it like this. So we'll go ahead and we'll let, like I said, right here, we got that running back. Got to take that away. We got pressure from the other side, though. You can see multiple guys were coming in on that particular play. So we really didn't get a lot of run plays there, but we're going to finish this video with the best run defense, and that's the cover four quarters. So we're going to pick that. 
On the offensive side, uh, I guess the only run play we have in this is going to be the halfback base. So we'll go with the halfback base. So the setup's going to be pretty similar. We're just going to pinch that defensive line. Then we're going to base the line, show blitz, base the line. The idea behind that is to get these safeties down into a position where they can basically uh, affect the run. Because if you don't, you don't guess pass. This is your run defense in this formation. You're not going to guess pass here. If you don't guess pass, and I'm not going to shoot the gap, even though I know where the play's going. No. Nope. Uh, you can see, I mean, number one, they did shoot the gap for me because we'll get a loss. But uh, without a doubt, I mean, this is going to be one of the best run defenses in the uh, in the formation. Probably, to me, the best run defense in the formation. So here we go once again. Okay, so I kind of want to keep this guy down on the line. Uh, but this is pretty much it. You don't really have to do anything else. Just pinch the defensive line. Uh, baseline, show blitz, baseline. And your safeties just don't get past. And your safety is going to do a very good job of filling the lanes. Uh, so I'm just going to sit back and watch the defense nope. you know, go to work. So you see nothing there. There's no uh, lanes to run on. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more plays, more defensive plays going forward, as always, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Much It Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.